the outrage over an Indiana politician's new racial and sexual identity. Ryan Webb, who, as you can tell, at least by the picture of him, appears to be a Caucasian male. He recently came out as a lesbian woman of color. Quote, I'm excited to be a vocal partner of the LGBTQIA PC++ community, uh, who knows just how far we can take things, but I'm glad that this is now possible so anyone can be anything or anyone they want. His constituents are not exactly happy. He has purposely and intentionally misgendered me, ridiculing my own gender identity. That's not something transgender people do to one another. Mr. Webb's comments at, to, and about the transgender community are not only incredibly insulting, but completely unbecoming of a public official. You are a public figure. You work for us. You should be fired. We were a little confused by this reaction, of course, because up until recently, Mr. Webb's new identity is, is his, right? And questioning someone's identity was forbidden. As of late, some in the trans community have even equated questioning someone's sexuality or identity to violence. Ryan Webb is here, councilman in Delaware County, just outside of Indianapolis. Ryan, it's good to see you. What, what, what's the point you're trying to make here? Well, I'm not trying to make any point. Uh, you know, I just simply shared on my own social media with my uh, with my own family and friends that uh, my own viewpoint um, of how I see myself and my own gender identity. Um, I wasn't necessarily trying to make a point or, or trying to make it a story. Uh, unfortunately, once the uh, local leftists got a hold of it, um, they were hell bent on making it a story and making it blow up to a national story. So um, I think the point being made was uh, on their end. I'm just living life uh, one day at a time. Well, right. And, and to be fair, we've been told for a long time you can't question someone's identity. You can't dis discuss how someone was born or on and on and on. But look, there, there's a lot of people who, who clearly have issues in their life. And, and I'm wondering if, if this doesn't feel a little bit like you're poking fun at them. Well, you know what? I, I'm sure some people might come to that conclusion. Um, I've been told some people feel that way. Um, I, look, I can't control how other people might feel. Um, as far as if they're being, uh, think that someone's making fun of them. Um, I'm just expressing how I'm choosing to live my life. Now, I will tell you uh, some of the suggestions that's been said to me and, and uh, remarks have been made is, you know, we're holding up a mirror to the political left uh, to their own ideology, whether intentionally or unintentionally. And, uh, you know, I have a great deal of empathy and um you know, compassion for anyone who, who wakes up every day and uh, feels like they're living in, in the wrong body. So I'm not making fun of that in any way. I'm just sharing uh, who I am as a person. Um, and I'm doing that based off of the groundwork that's been laid by others uh, that's established these rules that uh, allows for any yeah, of no, us I, to be anybody. No, look, I, I, I get it, right? And, and it, it's one of those situations that whenever you follow something out to the, to the extreme or to the absurd, when it, it doesn't work and when people are hypocritical, then you can kind of go back and say, hey, look, this perhaps feels a little bit more uh, about political power than it does about sincerely held beliefs and, and the like. But I'm listening to you. Do you talk? Do you, do you really believe that you're a lesbian woman but uses he, him pronouns and... And that's how you're going to live? Hey, come well, on. I mean, at the time, I am. Uh, the, the thing with gender fluidity is you can feel <laughs> one way today and another way tomorrow. And, uh, you know, I have no desire to live life as a woman. I'm just simply coming to the terms with the fact that I, I recognize that that's who I am in, in my heart and soul, and that's what I'm identifying. Uh, that's the reason why I plan on, you know, continuing every day forward the exact same as I have been as a man. Um, I didn't choose this path. Uh, you know, it, it's just where we're at. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay. How, how much of this, it just come on, it's just you and I talking here, right? H how much of this is trying to, to make a political point? How much of it was trying to be funny on Facebook? How much of it is that, that you wanted to point out sort of the, the, what you view as the absurdity of, of how people view gender these days? 
Well, I mean, make no mistake about it. That's all been done. You know, uh, the absurdity of gender and, and gender identity and, and how anyone can become anything at any time uh, just by wishing it or, or, or believing it. And, you know, that's all been highlighted, but uh, that's not my intent. Uh, I'm not trying to point that out. That's just the way it worked out. Uh, you know, I, uh, like I said, I'm just living my life on my terms uh, per the rules that have been laid down and established. And I know some people are having a hard time with that, but that's just where we're at right now. All right. Well, there, there you go. We always appreciate someone willing to come on and talk to us about it. And as, as this goes on, we'll be interested in checking, checking back in with you. All right. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.